Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a review slash tutorial on the Call Me Unshakable Eyeliner from Mia Adora. So what it says on their website is from Amazon. It says they're the best cruelty free waterproof liquid eyeliner pen. It's a non-toxic formula, all day wear, gel felt tip high pigment um, for wing, can I smudge tear proof makeup, no stamp, no pencil sharpener. So you can buy this off Amazon, it retails for $14.99, so $15 for this product. I think that's a pretty reasonable price, depends on how it applies. I'm really excited to try out this applicator, try out this liquid liner for you guys, and I'll do like a little tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner, just for some of you guys, because you have asked in a few of my previous tutorials where I have done winged liner, like how best to do it so i'll give you some kind of tips on how i like to apply my eyeliner so without further ado let's get straight into it <laughs> all right roo let's get to it see i do like this felt tip applicator i just find it helps guide the eyeliner on the best in my experience i don't know if all of you guys have had that but for me i just find it the easiest what i like to do first is i'll always kind of use my finger as a guide on my face so i have something to kind of keep my hand steady and I'll you like to just kind of press the eyeliner to my eye oh wow that's so pigmented oh ooh, I like it already I just kind of let it rest against my eyes I guide it on because I want it quite thin on the inner corner and then once I've kind of mapped out the inner corner I'm going to start with my outer corner so I like to start small and use little dragging motions up towards the tail of my brow and then from the tip of that eyeliner I'm going to drag it back and connect it to the little um, line we've made here. Pray for me guys, I hope this goes well. <laughs> and what I like to do as I drag it back is I actually rest it against the lid when I bring it back down. See how there's a black along here just because I've rested the eyeliner as I've brought it back as a little guide to keep my hand steady it doesn't matter if I've got liquid liner in the actual eyeliner area because we're just going to fill it in anyway it just stops me from bringing it up too high or smudging it up in this area at the no-go zone I'd rather just keep it here and keeps it clean I just find that technique helps a lot when I apply my eyeliner having it resting on the lid as I drag it back down if that makes sense I'll do my other eye again to show you guys. It's not as clean as I would like it. The felt tips, I'm comparing it to the Maybelline Hyper Sharp one. It's a little bit more flexible. Flexible? The Hyper Sharp one's a little bit more flexible. This one's slightly, just ever so slightly more stiff. Um, so it doesn't allow me to maneuver as easily. I mean, it's still good. Like, that wing's still... I'm happy with that. We'll have to test it on the other eye and see if I can make them even. That's always my biggest dilemma. So again, I'm resting the tip of the, of the eyeliner pen on my eye and just mapping out the inner corner, just like keeping it thin, keeping it small. Then I'm going to start angling at the tail of the wing up towards the end of my brow. And keep them on a nice upward angle to lift the eyes so they're not on a too straight angle, downward angle. It's keeping it even and up so it gives that slight lift effect to the eyeballs. So again, little strokes following the angle of my tail of my brow. And as I get to the tip of the wing, I use lighter pressure than I do on the, the base of the wing closest to my lash line. And what I was talking about before is I like rest the eyeliner as I bring it back. See how it creates that kind of thick black line because I've rested the eyeliner against my eyeball to guide it back to give it a nice clean line. And then I just fill it in. This is my favourite bit. This is the most satisfying part of doing winged eyeliner. I think like that's as even as I'm going to get them. I have to say, the pigment payoff is insane. Like, over that shimmer eyeshadow and everything, it's just so black. It's waterproof as well, so it should last in, like, water. The applicator 
is I'd give it I give it like a three or a four out of five. I do find it a little bit stiff to work with. Although in saying that, I feel like the more I work with it, the more used to it I'll get. It's not really the applicator. I feel like it's just me not having used it before. It is similar to the Hyper Sharp one. Like I said, just a little bit stiff, so I have to get used to that. So maybe I would give it like a four out of five. Color pay like color payoff, I'd give it a five out of five. It's so good and I do like the packaging as well I love the little pink spots around it and the like little logo it's so cute I love it I can't really complain it's not chipping or getting crusty or anything like that either like the NYX glam eyeliners excuse me <clears throat> the NYX glam eyeliners like do crack and break away this does not this stays on so nice and it dries really well like I said, it doesn't dry or cracked and flaky. It dries nice and smooth over the, the shimmers and the glitters and stuff. So I'm happy. It passes the test. It gets a big thumbs up from me. <laughs> and there's more exciting news to go along with this product. If you would like to try it out, I do have a promo code which gives you guys 20% off your purchase of this product. So if you would like... To use that, I'll leave it written on the screen here and I'll leave it down below in the description bar for you guys to just copy and paste in the checkout bar, promo code, spot. <laughs> Why do I make everything so awkward? Uh, I'm so happy with this product. Like, mate, my wings are pretty clear. My, clear. My wings are pretty crisp. So I'm actually quite happy with the applicator. I have had eyeliners in the past where it's just blotchy. There's not a crisp line coming back through. It's just the applicator. It's just hard to work with. This one, not that hard. I just need to get used to the more like stiffness of it, like I've been saying. I feel like I'm repeating myself now, so I'll quickly go and apply lashes and wrap up this video. Mm, mm. Oh, don't lashes just complete look? If you would like to see an eyeshadow tutorial on this eye look, make sure to, like I said, leave it to comment down below in the description bar. If you did like this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Hit that little red button before you guys leave. And don't forget to turn your little notifications on with the bell right next to it so you guys can stay up to date with my latest videos and tutorials. I post every Monday and Thursday, so I post twice a week, every week, so you guys will be able to see two of me two of me no nah. anyways i do hope you found this video helpful like i said the promo code for the unshakable eyeliner is left down below in the description bar along with like the website all the links that you need to be able to go have a look if you want check it out a little bit more get more inf a bit more information and everything like that otherwise have an amazing day guys i love you all so so much i do hope you enjoy this video and i'm gonna let you guys go now have an awesome day bye guys